Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. So what we're going to be doing now is Never we're going mind. to be getting whatever bed. this thing is with the doors. There's been doors and security cameras. I opened every single one of them that I saw and even going through this whole game again and checking all the cameras, I saw that there were more than there were before. Now also, I need to make sure that I still get all the collectibles because I've collected all the collectibles and pretty much everything and I just need to make sure that I actually have them. Speaking of, I need to pull that up. Not distractible, no. Not distractable, my podcast with Bob and Wade that if you haven't heard of it, you should check it out. Link in the description below. Oh. There is a collectible that requires... Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so I would literally have to activate external cheats to be able to get no clip. Uh, so I won't hold myself to that standard. So there's one collectible that I didn't get, but it's bugged. And it's not my fault, so uh, not my problem anyway. Time to go through this. Yeah. Doesn't this look familiar? Doesn't this look extremely like... In space with Markiplier? If you don't know what I'm talking about, boy, have you missed out. Did you know I'm making an Iron Lung movie? <laughs> New trailer soon. Ah! Ah, right here. Uh oh. Oh boy. Ah, there's another one right there. Wow, that is... That is right there. That is... And there's another Faz token. I think that's two. Yeah, that's two. Okay, so that's good. There it is. And I think this is the last one of these types to get up here besides Faz tokens and the comic book page downstairs. And I'm really hoping I won't have to backtrack anything for the cameras because I saw, I saw it open with no door beyond it. Oh, Roxy. no. Interesting that there's a plushie here. What are you doing? Don't worry. This won't have any actual lasting repercussions. Okay. So before I do Candy Cadet, I know I have the tokens, but there's one more token to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So I need to go get the last token because I have I have six and there's one more down here. So I'm gonna go get it and then come back. Oh, Why are there, there burners everywhere? like the inside of an oven all right so that is all of the tokens so now i can hear the full story and that means you can too now i will tell you a story okay there was a monster in the woods but the mother caught it and kept it locked in the basement the monster always made scary noises at night, but the mother would tell the boy not to worry because it could never get out. Then she would sing the boy a lullaby to sleep. One day, the monster stopped crawling and instead listened and learned the lullaby. Smart monster. The next day, when the mother went out to find food, the monster sang the lullaby from the basement. The little boy heard the lullaby and opened the door. door. <laughs> oh, is that the end of the story? So I got... I got all these tokens for nothing and I could have heard the full story, but... Then what was the point of all the tokens? Take my tokens! God damn it, of course it is. All right, fine. There was another thing over here. Right here. The last comic book page. And I think that, minus the one collectible that's there when you get all the other stuff, is everything. So I can read this comic in full. Wow, look, Gregory's running away from something. Gregory is hiding from something. Gregory is... talking to Freddy? Something? Oh, wow. Must have seen this mask before. Always so creative. Then they're friends forever. And then uh, Vanny gets... Uh, shrek and then Springtrap gets shrek Uh, well, that's cool and all, but, um... <laughs> oh, I still have to his voice box. Well, anyway. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that I got all the doors unlocked. However, I still technically have Chica's voice box. I'm not sure why, but I have it. But I think I got what I needed. 
pretty sure anyway. So let's give it a try. Yep. Let's see if this worked. I have a funny feeling it won't. You saved me. Because that's how it goes. I, I'm Gregory. Hi. You're not Gregory. You don't know that. What are you? I, I'm Gregory. What? what? Cassie, can you hear me? Gregory? Is that really you? I mean, really you. I've been trying to reach you all night. I'm not at the pizza place. Something's trying to trick you. You're a bit late. This thing in the basement sounds just like you. How do I know this is you for real? Is there another option? You need to get out of there now. How? I burned his exit to the building maps. Just follow the instructions. What? What are you wearing? Why are you different? Why? Why are you different? Why are you different? That doesn't make any sense. I was just a tall robot before, but that's something else. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll run now. So, I can't remember where the door was, but I think it was up ahead here. And I'm guessing maybe different costume because I did something right? Maybe? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. I can't see anything. Hurry. I'm trying. There. I know. So, yeah. Okay, so this should be open. It is all the way. All the way to the back. Okay, that's good to know. So I wasn't crazy, and I don't have to go back and do anything over again. Where am I? Whoa. Yeah, take a door, idiot. Uh, am I supposed to be doing something? I am really... I'm really floundering on this one. Um... Ah, oh, frick. Huh? Hi. Oh. So, for some reason, the enemy was in a costume now that I did all of the things to do it, but I, when I didn't do it before, it was not in a costume, and it was just a tall Slenderman-style robot. And so, it killed it. The machine. And then Gregory didn't send me plummeting to my death, which was very weird. Like, I get the whole thing where 
I was being misled by fake Gregory the whole time. But in this case, Gregory just decided that I deserved to die. Which is a bold thing for a child to decide, but there you have it. So, the moral of the story is, the true evil was inside whatever costume that was all along, just like Vanny. And that's why the true ending was Vanny being disassembled by staff bots. And just in that way, the staff claw did that. Hey, that guy. And nobody else. I know. Wait, why didn't I get in? Wait, why didn't I get the one in nine? Ah, whatever, it don't matter. Okay, so that is Security Beach Ruin. Now, unless I'm missing anything, and I don't think I am, I've seen everything that there is for this DLC to offer. And I'd say for free DLC, which if you didn't know this DLC was free if you own Security Breach, that was pretty good. I think that the developers really wanted to show that they could make a cohesive scary experience, even if it was extremely linear, but I think like making it linear and super linear was the best chance they had to get it out quickly. And I'm like, go for it. That's great. You just iterate upon the designs you already had, the level designs, and you just like modify some assets. You make some new animations. It's still a lot of work, but it's a lot better than trying to like fix the open world situation that was happening before. Not that they haven't done some improvements. I know that there's been quite a few patches since the last time that I played that have fixed things in Security Breach, and I do applaud them for that. I think this was a fantastic DLC minus the bugs of finding secret stuff, but that wasn't part of the main experience. Anyway, anyway, good stuff. It is good to come back here. And I know it was really fun to meme on Security Breach when it first came out, but I wasn't joking when I said I thought positively of it after I was done playing it. It was aggravating at times, but it had charm. And I think that's why it's memorable is because the people that playing it, they can overlook the bugs because so much love is clearly woven into the game at every level. There's so much detail put into this game, almost too much detail to the detriment, but because the love was there, it's just like, you know, cooking and you can't have a good meal without love baked into it. There was clearly love and love for the franchise and love for Five Nights at Freddy's in general. And, and I think like that really showed and that's what made it charming. It made choices and sometimes the choices could be debated whether they were good or not, but that doesn't change the fact that there was still so much to see and you could you could practically smell the detail put into the game. And that, you know, that takes a lot of work and that takes a lot of dedication and it takes a team that actually really cares about it. So I'd say this is good. Security Breach, when it came out, it was flawed, but it was a flawed gem, you know? It wasn't a turd that you polished. It was a gem that fell in the turd, you know? And you had to dust it off a little bit. Ruin embraces a turd. This analogy falls apart a little bit, but it was good. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Maybe someday I'll go back and try to get some Security Breach secrets that I didn't get before. Um, but I think that ship has sailed and that time has passed and this was good to play. I hear there's another VR version coming out soon made by this same team. And if I remember, Help Wanted was pretty cool. So I'll try that. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Check out the other scary games that I've done. Check out Distractable. Go my favorite sports team with Bob Wade and Tyler respectively. Check out anything else that I'm doing. I'm doing a whole lot these days. And I have a movie that's going to be coming out real soon. Thank you. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!